Well, hello everyone, this is your host, the Alhad, and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, and my second cup of coffee of the day. I know it's 6.30 at night. I, I, I wanted some coffee. Ah, and on that wonderful, tasty, delicious, hot note... Ghosts and shit! Yay! Hello? Hello? Kitchen ghost. What? Oh, <laughs> it was <laughs> it was the door. Everything's fine. Diary. Ooh, is it safe? Things look to be fine. Lots of knives and shit laying around. So, diary. Help me. I'll do my best. What you want to do about it? Do I read it? All right, I'll read it. This is the chart remains of what looks like a diary. 5-30-58. Oh, boy. Just arrived here at the Ocean House. We have a week-long holiday here in Santa Monica, and Ed has booked us a room for the hotel's grand opening. I know a guy named Ed. It's a wonderful place, almost magical. The children have been swimming all afternoon. That's very idyllic. 5-31-58. Fifty-eight. The first two days have been almost perfect, except that Ed can't seem to stop asking about the locket I received from my mother. He seems to think it was sent to me by some other admirer. Ed can be sweet, but sometimes his jealousy can get the better of him. Yeah, jealousy I often find gets the better of everybody. That's why you squash that shit and get rid of it. Or it will eat you alive, turn you into a monster. 6 1 58. The sun is out today, not a cloud in the sky. Ed seems almost a little on edge keeps guessing as to who my new boyfriend is. What a fucking asshole. 6358. There was a picnic for the hotel guests this morning. Quite a grand affair. Ed is in a dark mood. I don't know what I can do to reassure him that he is my one and only love. <laughs> the only time he seemed to brighten up was when he was speaking to the groundskeeper. Boys and their toys. Ah, that's grody. 6, 4, 58. We have only two more days left, and thank God we're finally going home. Ed won't speak to me or the children, and I found him more than once in the bathroom holding the locket and staring at it. I'm afraid he suffered some sort of breakdown. I've told him we can go home, but they, he just shakes his head. We, he won't look at me. I just want to go home. What a fucking dick. Okay, last uh, last entry. 6, 5, 58. Ed left early this morning. I haven't seen him since. If I haven't seen him in another hour, I'm going to call the hotel manager against my better wishes. Ed Jr. went to look for him downstairs in the basement. You don't wish your kid well. You know, Junior, Ed Jr., don't go, don't go down, don't fucking go downstairs, I'm telling you, or else. Ed Jr. went to look for him downstairs in the basement. I'm going to send Tiffany down to fetch him. If, wait, someone is knocking at the door. Oh my god, Ed covered in blood, coming to kill me, locked myself in the bathroom, he's gone crazy, he keeps shouting, we'll be together forever, and he'll never let me go. Please, someone, hell, the writing trails off the end of the page, it's a little weird. Why would you write, please, someone, help, in your diary? Never mind. He's coming. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he said. That pot is spinning. Okay. That pot moved. And another one. Oh, good. Yeah, that's it, Ed. You're a jealous asshole, and now you're throwing a temper tantrum with pots. Oh, and some fire. Hello, fire. Okay. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Ah, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Fuck. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Let me out of here. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Were you laughing? Fuck you, Ed. God, you're such an asshole. I can't wait to double kill you. How do you like it? How do you like it? I can throw shit too, you know. Give me give me all this stuff. I'll, I'm going to throw some pots around. That's not useful or, or beneficial. In... And he's over here laughing. Yeah, you have gone crazy, Ed. I am going to put my undead size 14 wide work boot up your ass. And we start by smashing this vent. How do you like that? Motherfucker. You... Be careful. Yes, ma'am. Why are we whispering? Did you just wanted to see... What's that? If I would whisper if you whispered? 
because I think I would. Okay, I have a, a strong feeling that if I <laughs> if I go down there, that elevator up there is going to crush me. So if you'll excuse me just a moment, I think it would be wise for me to not just jump down there because that's very me style. First we save the game, press OK. Good, game saved, fantastic. Jump, jump. Was I right? Ah! Uh, her cheesy shit can't get me, ghosty goo. Casper the friendly, jealous asshole ghost, you're not about nothing. Eh, no! F oh, well, I didn't die, so I guess that's something. <laughs> and I grabbed onto the ladder. Boy, am I terrible at platforming. For more terrible at platforming, please check out Dishonored on the channel. Oh, that hurt a little bit. Let's try this again to see if I can jump properly like a human being who's used to jumping from ladder to elevator. Did not work out. Jump again. Catch yourself on the ladder. That's okay. I can get this. Damn it. Okay. Jump. Jump on the ladder. Maybe if I jump behind me. Like here? Yeah, is that? Does that work? No! Oh! I can't keep doing this. I'm gonna fall to my death and I'm already dead. I got this. Who says I don't? Okay. Ah, ah, let me up! Let me up! Let me up! Aha! I was crouching. I'm sorry. How did that happen? What? What? Fucking make noises at me. Okay. Pretty music. Everything's fine. Bathroom? Was this the bathroom? Everything looks pretty pristine. Everything looks more or less... No oh, Scarlet... Torkelson Circus Performer. This item is beneath your abilities. You would gain nothing from it. Biography of 1930 Circus Performer Scarlet the Torkelson. The perforated lady Torkelson, best known for her assistant to Shaky Sill Manfredi's notorious epileptic knife thrower. This book raises your dodge trait. If you can hear a scraping noise in the background, I'm scratching my dog's back with my foot and he seems extremely happy. But I have to go back to the game now. I'm sorry, Shadoy. You'll just have to make peace with taking up the entire fucking doorway. But hold on a second here. Wait. The, it's beneath my ability to read. What do I need for it? Do I need a better, like, research skill? What's my research skill? Uh, research skill. I need a scholarship or an intelligence. Scholarship 3, intelligence 2. Oh, so that'll raise research and intimidate or research and persuasion. Let's raise our research and persuasion. That seems good, except... Now can I read it? Items beneath your abilities. Fuck! Do I need to raise another dot in persuasion? Because I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't make me do it. Um, or, I mean, another in, in research. We're at research three. If I raise intelligence, I'll have research four in intimidate two. I'm doing it. Please, please have worked. God damn it! Book raises your dodge skill. Fuck, I guess I can't. Ah, that sucks a little bit. Can I raise anything in Persuasion? Persuasion's already at five. That would be Charisma or Scholarship. We need six for that. And tw I'm just, you know, keeping my dialogue abilities sharp for future things. I know I kind of want Celerity 3, too. Either you're not the only ones. God, throw it at me. Throw it at me. Oh, okay, now they're not throwing pots. Murder unsolved. Mother of, or father could have been Ocean House Killer. I think it's fairly certain it was the father. I don't think there's much disputing that fact. The guy was clearly nuts. Where am I going? Where am I going, ghost? Somebody wants to point me in the right direction. Literally. Did something push me? Because I know they're they're fond of that kind of thing. Ah, Jesus fucking goddammit, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not frightened. You're frightened. You're probably not frightened at all. Uh, was this the bathroom? No blood stains. That really did scare me. That shouldn't have, but it did. Excuse me? I want that. Whatever it is, I want it. Give it to me. Motherfucker. Fine. Anything in here? 
or was that the music box that I heard earlier? Whatever. What? Oh, you dick. Oh, you know what, man? With your ass. Open the door. Let's handle this shit. Oh, god damn it. Something else gets... Did I see that woman over here? Ah, 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 ah. No, you did not hit me. Stop it. Well, I guess a little bit did hit me. In lamp. <sighs> you too? Come on. What? Oh, you dick. Uh, let's go ahead and hit blood heal. Probably the first time we've had to use that. Let's be a little careful. Oh, oh, we're we're throwing doors now. Oh, look at him. He's throwing doors. Look at this perfectly made bed. I hear whispering. Something about falls into the flames. Sounds like a uh, an, an emo screamo band from 2003. Isn't that ironic? Not every fool falls into the, the flames coming out this fall. Something in the oven with peppers and ferns. I'm actually kind of fascinated if you can use ferns to season things. I will look it up on my phone in between the next episode. Who thinks I won't? You know, I really don't like the crying noises. It reminds me of a doctor's office. Why I don't go to the doctor's? Oh, good. That's That looks perfectly normal. You know, I see what your problem is there. You've got a self-combusting ghost hotel. What? Okay, so right next to me then. Oh, <laughs> All right. You know, if you want to work this shit out, man to ghost. Whoa! Hello. Uh, we're crouching now under the steam. God damn. Fucking ghosts, man. Oh, good. Yeah, more. Now you're bursting pipes. You're such an asshole. Death has not tempered your poor behavior one bit. Ow, oh, that hurt a lot. I'm gonna just go ahead and blood heal again. How about in here? The fire's in here. Alright, whatever. Let me in. Hide that corpse in the oven! Who would hide a corpse in an oven? Can I... Can I crew? Oh, that's pretty. I mean, it's also very weird, but... You don't creep me out, it's daylight. No, nobody's coming, and if you come at me, I'll be able to see you because I'm not in the fucking dark. How's that sound? Hey, look at that, man. We have done the ultimate cheat. We are vampires, and we are standing in the sunlight. And we are we are extremely pale. This is, this is kind of a nice thing. And it's gone. Hey, experience rewarded. Quest log updated. You know what? Uh, Ed the Ghost, you're fucked now. Like, we've got your number. Gonna let me out or what? Honestly, any time would be great. Slowest goes to door of the year ward 2016 goes to this fucking door. Uh, want me to jump down and oh, maybe not. Oh, okay, so I just jumped over here. Excellent. Hey, we made it. Look at that. I feel like that little bit of, uh, what do you call it? That that bit of daylight was like the ghost way of saying thank you. Because, fuck that guy now. We got your pendant. Don't we? That is the... Don't tell me it's the wrong pendant. That would suck. This exquisite pendant looks polished, though it was found in the charred ruins of the ocean house. When you hold it in your palm for a second, you are overwhelmed with a sense of profound sadness and chopping noises, and a ghost lady, and shit that flew off the walls, and random fires. Shut up! I'm do I'm narrating! 
fucking bird. Alright, so that was the ocean house. Wasn't that lovely? That was great. That was a good time. I had fun. Prince. The prince is, to put it simply, a big jerk. Please continue. Loading screen. Boy, these games near loading screens. Maybe there's a rat I can eat on the way. Get my blood back up to where it needs to be. Oh boy, maybe there is. I see one. I see it. I'm coming for you, rat. Three of you. Fantastic. That's at least three blood points. So if you excuse me, I'm definitely going to be eating these rats. Oh, Louis, if ever I needed to find you, all I had to do was follow the corpses of rats. Attempt failed. Any more? I thought I saw three of them. I was mistaken. Ah, ah, there is one more. Give it to me. Yes. Rat Tartar. Awesome. Going up. This may not be near the asylum. We can always walk around. Slow crawling. Come on. Get up the ladder. Hey. Hey, it is right in front of the asylum. That's fucking awesome. All right. Now, the asylum. Go give this damn thing to Therese. And never go inside that haunted house again. Fantastic. I've had enough of the uh, the Shinning Hotel. Go the Shinning I talk to you? Um, what are you doing out of my dreams, beautiful? It's too cheesy, even I can't use that. How about the weather, huh? Nice weather. It is some fucking nice weather right now in Detroit. Like what you see, I know I do. If you were the last person on Earth, I'd reconsider my views on bestiality. Damn, bro. That is harsh. If you were the last person on Earth, I'd reconsider my views on bestiality. God damn. <laughs> well, I mean, who wins? You, you totally do. Jesus Christ, if I was the last person on Earth, she'd reconsider her views on bestiality. What the fuck? No, no crazy arguing or nothing? Oh, Carnival of Death, still the same newspaper. Oh, good, it's you. Yay. How odd. I was just having naughty thoughts about you. You made quite an impression earlier. Did you come up just to cheer lonely little me? Sure. I brought this for Therese, actually. I need to see Therese. You're the last person I wanted to run into. Actually, I need to Therese see Therese. Therese is out making a show of how well her lips fit on the pants seat of the Camarilla. Did you happen to find her chastity belt or something? Uh, yes, you could say that. Uh, I need to give something to Teresa. It's from Ooh. the hotel. <laughs> Can I see it? Oh, I don't know about that. Of course, here it is. Take it. No, I think I'm going to have to give it to Teresa. I'm not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? I don't trust that fake tantrum I wouldn't give you the time of day you crazy bitch no please calm down she's always belittling me she's the smart one she's the favorite she's the successful one well it's not fair I'm not a fool this club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers you uh you have one green eye and one blue eye and Therese has two blue eyes would you stop you're driving me nuts now I understand but I still can't give it to you yeah no whoa all right here is the thing from the hotel you made your point, drama queen, take it, no. Do you understand what it's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for two lifetimes? Can you? Uh, here, please take it. If I give this to you, will you stop your insanity? I'm sorry to hear that, Jeanette, but I need to give this to Therese. Sorry, but I have to give it to Therese. Fine, you hold on to it. Hmm, since you are so willing to brave that big spooky place for my darling sister, how about doing a teensy tiny favor for a little troubled me? Don't see why not, except that it's probably a trap or something. Alright, alright, that depends on what it is. Cut the squirrel girl act and just tell me what it is and don't forget it. What would put a smile on that face? Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. What's the whole that? event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? 
So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. Oh, for you, anything. <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Uh -huh. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. Buy myself something velvet? Are you George Costanza? All right, I'll go slash the paintings, but hey, you know what? Free knife. Free knife, rather. I'm not going to steal the charity money. Fine, I'll be back when it's finished, and this feud will be called off. I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hey. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. Fantastic. I'd never intentionally keep you waiting, Jeanette. Goodbye. If I don't get to see Tongue when I get back, I'm taking it out on both of you. Seriously, oh, though. there was something about the paintings. What about it? Hmm, what was it? What? I can't remember. Oh, good. Oh, have fun, Duckling. Oh, wonderful. And stop calling me Duckling. It's weird. Alright, I think that's going to do it for the episode. Guys, if you enjoyed that, leave a like. If you'd like to see more of Jeanette, hit subscribe. Please tell me what you thought in the comments section. And guys, this is your host, the Alhat, saying I will see you next time.